points that, that we want to make here, and we don't have a lot of slides, we just have um, about 10 slides or so, and then we'll take some questions, but um, the three key points we want to talk about as it relates to the Exologic Elastic Cloud are, number one, the hardware and the software that's in the machine, and then also how it's engineered to work together. Number two, we're going to talk about delivering the fastest Java performance of any machine. Uh, and then three, we'll talk about what is it about the, the machine that makes it designed for cloud computing. So I wanted to start with just a little bit of context, uh, especially because many of you are probably familiar a little bit with our Oracle Exadata machine on the database side. Uh, and really, as you've heard many of our executives talk about, the Exadata database machine has been a wildly successful product for Oracle. You may have heard us uh, on the earnings call last week talk about the enormous pipeline, one and a half billion dollar pipeline around uh, the Exadata database machine. Um, the customer uptake of the database machine has been just tremendous. Uh, and if we look at some of the characteristics of the database machine, uh, you know, it's software and hardware engineered together, so it's a single integrated system for handling database workloads. Uh, in fact, it's the only database machine in the world for handling, handling both data warehousing workloads as well as OLTP database workloads. Uh, and it's designed to deliver extreme database performance. So when we engineered the software and hardware together, it was with the idea not only of making it easier to manage it all, but also of tuning it for extreme performance, and in this case, extreme database performance. And as you can imagine, what you need in a database machine is a heck of a lot of storage. There's, there's a fair amount of compute power in there, and you may have heard our announcement today about the new model of Exadata with even more compute power. So there's a lot of compute power in there, but there's a tremendous amount of storage in Exadata as well. I mean, you're talking about 336 terabytes on the disk and five terabytes in flash alone. Uh, and when you talk about some of the compression you can do with advanced compression, you can put as much as 50 terabytes of data in that flash. So it's a box that's kind of jam-packed with, with, with storage, uh, rightly so, for being data this machine. And then the last point I just make on Exadata was, is, is that it has uh, a reasonable amount of secret sauce uh, in there, or things we did to really engineer the software and hardware together to take advantage of the, the hardware that the database is running on. And some examples of that are this, the way we do storage smart scans, uh, and, and that dramatically reduces the amount of data we bring back from a query result, uh, the smart flash cache, and uh, hybrid cluster compression. Now, we're here to talk about Exalogic, but I just wanted to give you that backdrop uh, because we think that Exalogic can bring some of those best practices uh, and things that have worked for us that have made Exadata database machine wildly successful, and we can bring those to bear in the middle tier with this new Exalogic Elastic Cloud. So when you think about uh, Oracle Exalogic, it is also software and hardware engineered together. Uh, and whereas Exadata is the only database machine designed for mixed workloads, Exalogic is really the only machine of its kind, it's the only middleware machine in the world. It's the only middleware machine on the market. Uh, it, whereas Exadata is designed to deliver extreme database performance, Exalogic is also tuned for extreme performance, and a lot of the tuning that we did that we'll walk you through in just a moment uh, around tuning the software so it really screams on the hardware. Uh, a lot of that tuning was around delivering extreme Java performance and really the fastest Java performance available. Uh, you think of Exadata, I mentioned earlier, it's, it's got tons of storage in there and a fair amount of compute power. You can think of Exalogic a little bit the inverse. Uh, it's got a fair amount of storage in there, but really it's jam-packed with processing power and compute power. Because when you think about what you're doing in the middle tier, it's running applications and you need compute horsepower. Uh, so we'll talk in a minute about the specifics. And then where you get into the secret sauce of it, what does it mean that we made the hardware and software engineered together, and how do we specifically tune the software to stream and take advantage of the, the, the hardware that it's running on? That's where we'll talk about the innovations that we did in the software to take advantage of the high-speed InfiniBand that's in the box. So we'll walk through all this in just a minute. So first let's look at what is the hardware inside the Exologic Elastic Cloud and uh, you know, I'm not going to walk through everything on the slide, but there's really two uh, particularly important uh, data points on this slide. One is the amount of total cores in the box. So there's 30 individual Oracle compute nodes in there, right? And, and each has uh, two sockets and, uh, and, and six cores in, in 
each socket, and it's a total of 360 total cores, though. So that's a tremendous amount of processing power. So the processing power is the first one. The second point of note on the slide is around the speed of the fabric, the interconnect, if you will, uh, between the machines. So the InfiniBand, by choosing to use InfiniBand, um, we're able to deliver 40 gigabits per second, which is four times faster than the standard, normally available, you know, Ethernet networking, and it's five times faster than the standard, common storage networking fabric as well. So our networking fabric is substantially faster than other machines that, that, that customers are running. And if you compare it to IBM's, and you probably saw this a little bit last night where Larry compared um, our machine to uh, at IBM's highest end box in their P series, in their power series. So Power 795 is your high end box, and it's an SMP machine. So uh, as Larry was uh, articulating last night, you know it's really uh, designed only for vertical scale up, not for scale out. Whereas with Exologic Elastic Cloud, you can also scale out as well. And we have 40% more CPU cores, as I mentioned, 360 total cores in the Exologic Elastic Cloud. And in spite of all that, um, it's a quarter of the cost. The hardware is a quarter of the cost of the IBM Power 795 series. So that's just a, a real quick look at the box. And when we talk about, so what is the software? Is it hardware and software engineered to work together? Uh, the software that's inside is a core middleware stack or a Java Enterprise Edition application server stack. So starting with Oracle WebLogic Server, which is the number one application server in the market. Uh, if you look at the recent uh, Gartner market share report, we're number one with 42% market share. We're also ranked number one in Java performance. We're actually the record holder right now in uh, every single Spec J App Server 2004 benchmark with WebLogic Server. Uh, and uh, this is the product that's the foundation for all other Fusion middleware products as well as for our Fusion applications products, right? So, all of this, all these other products, whether you're talking about running Oracle's uh, SOA or VPN technology, our so suite products, whether you're running uh, content management, whether you're running Oracle Web Center Suite to you build out your portal, uh, or whether you're going to be running Oracle's Fusion applications, it all runs on top of this. Uh, Oracle Coherence is kind of a companion product in a way to WebLogic Server. It's uh, often called the in-memory data grid. Uh, you can think of it also as a distributed Java caching product. It's the leading one in the market. Uh, Oracle JRocket and Hotspot are the four Java virtual machines, and they're the fastest Java virtual machines uh, available. And then at the operating system layer, we have uh, support for both, this box will support both Oracle Solaris and Oracle Linux. And it'll be the latest release of, uh, if you saw John Fowler's keynote this morning, we're talking about the latest release of Oracle Solaris that's available. And you probably saw Larry talk a little bit also about some of the tuning we're doing as it relates to Oracle Linux. And then lastly, the virtualization layer, which is very important when you're thinking about the elastic capacity and how this box really does provide an elastic cloud. Uh, and that's Oracle VM, which is uh, fast, extremely efficient, really the most efficient server virtualization uh, technology available. So that's a quick look at uh, you know, what's in the box, uh, the hardware and software, and, and we do want to talk about how the hardware and software is engineered to work together. So for that, I'm going to have Mike come up and talk a little bit about that. Great. Thanks, Rick.